so many PT clinics mm -hmm. have these tables. Mm -hmm. they're, they're, High low table. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. hospitals too. Yeah, that's right. You know, right. with the hospital bed. Yeah. And what we find is a lot of times if we can, you know, in a hospital situation, just getting people moving, mm -hmm. right? But in a PT situation, getting them warmed up for whatever it is that you're going to be doing that's with right. them. So maybe we can talk a little bit about how to leverage, you know, mm -hmm. these tables in yeah. using XC you know, as a cycle on the side. Yeah. Well, there's the, the warming up aspect in an outpatient rehabilitation setting, but it is also developing range of motion. So mm -hmm. on something like this, you can uh, just work half circles or a limited arc just to mm -hmm. work on uh, early range of motion, say for a knee or a hip. Now in, in the setup, we always, we'd say square the exercise equipment mm -hmm. to the edge on this on this edge of the table it's kind of a we'd say oblique to the line of the table so you'd offset mm -hmm. that such that the xe is is perpendicular square to the front edge of the of the table that's going to allow you more stable perch mm -hmm. now with regards to this exercise equipment the, the, how this varies or is different than say like your typical recumbent bicycle or standard exercise bicycle is the crank is a little shorter so that's a good thing particularly for earlier range of motion development or just use in this situation. So if we were to raise the table up. Am I allowed to move forward? Yeah, totally, <laughs> but that, that, that demonstrates the need for you to readjust your perch, mm -hmm. if you will. Mm -hmm. But in elevating the table, what that does is that means that you have to reach a little farther through that pedal stroke, which means, which also means that the knee doesn't bend quite as much at the top part of the pedal mm -hmm. stroke. Mm -hmm. So for our people who are limited in range of motion, particularly knee flexion or hip flexion, they'll have better tolerance of that activity a little higher up rather than low. So sometimes you can then, if you start out high and we're say progressing their range of motion, you mm -hmm. can bring them down. Mm -hmm. Now, clearly, uh, we know that with bicycling, a greater uh, degree of knee flexion through the pedal stroke with prolonged exposure to the activity puts you at greater risk for knee pain. So, you know, for a, a clinical setting, you know, it's not practical in the clinical setting for us to have a person ride this or pedal this for an hour. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you can expose them to these uh, deeper knee angles just for the development of some range of motion for a shorter period of time. But if they're doing a longer period of time, say you have them doing like a 10 or 15 minute warm up prior to your session, mm -hmm. then maybe you'd set them up a little higher to where it's a healthier position uh, for the knee and hip. Okay. And they can just uh, cruise along.